guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn in New York. In front of me today, I have a box of 2002-2003 private stock titanium for your cranium to enrich us like uranium. Uh, I wanted to talk just a bit about the prices. Uh, I think they've gone roof daddy. I actually don't think people should be buying. I think they should be purchasing products uh, that are still affordable. So going back into history, really, really savvy. Uh, so for example, actually in 2013, uh, titanium, there was a titanium product from Panini, and I purchased it for like $40 at the time, no more than 50 bucks. I've seen those boxes go for 250 now. I understand it's supply demand and boxes deplete, but come on, man, we're talking about like low mid-end products going for $200 plus. It's not right, guys. And I've been saying for a while that there would be a hyperinflation within the hobby. I didn't expect it to be this quick and this drastic. Uh, I do know that markets that inflate absolutely do deflate. So be very guarded and cautious in terms of your investments right now. Uh, not that you necessarily have to see cards as, as an investment. I suggest you buy boxes that still have value as opposed to going for things that don't make sense to you financially, personally. Uh, I don't know why all this stuff is happening. I think it has to do with the pandemic. I think it has to do with middlemen, group breakers, flippers, uh, collusion probably within uh, the hobby amongst retailers to a certain extent. So just be really careful, be guarded, and buy at your own price point. So I've been a bit ill, guys. I'm definitely not clear-headed today, so do bear with me. So here we go. Configuration, eight cards per pack, eight packs per box, which amount to 64 cards. Total, uh, one jersey per pack within this product, which is pretty cool. Base set, one through one honey. Rookie cards, 101 through 140, which would be 40 rookie cards, number to 99. Those are actually harder to hit, I think. I think it's easier to hit the parallels. Uh, the rookie parallels would be the retail ones, and the blues within uh, the hobby are numbered to 450, the reds to 299. So guys, within a box break, expect 2.67 of the red vet parallels, uh, 0.88 of the red rookie cards. So with regard to the inserts, guys, we should receive 16 of the Pacific Complete, which is a sort of separate base set that runs through all of these uh, Pacific products, which is kind of cool. There's two per pack in this particular product. Typically there's one per pack. Uh, we should receive, I think, 0.47 of the Mass Marauder, 0.47 of the Shadows, 0.88 of the Saturday Nights with a K, <laughs> 1.6 of the right on targets, eight game worn jerseys, and look for patch parallels with various numbering. So let's do it, guys. So let us crunch this bad boy. Really nice uh, package, I must say. Uh, rookies within the set, right? You guys are curious about the rookies? Uh, well, Spets is in this product as a rookie. There's Gerber, there's Tim Thomas, Ryan Miller, Kobasu, uh, Leopold, Leopold, Pascal Leclerc. Uh, I think one of the most the best ones is, are probably the Rick Nash, Zetterberg. Uh, I think there's Bowmeister. So all kinds of good stuff in here. As I said, oh, Ron Hainsey as well. So let's do this, guys. Always a treat to do uh, some of our good old Pacific uh, titanium. And here you actually have your odds right there on the pack. Really, really clearly stated, which is one of the benefits of these old Pacific boxes. The odds are as clearly stated as anything. All right, Cavallari, I think, is a rookie in this uh, set as well. So let's do it, guys. So here we have one of the uh, complete, specific completes, and it would be the Matt Sandin. These probably have parallels as well, actually. Uh, there's Roman Hamlick, who's the first overall. I don't know why I'm slurring, guys. I mean, I really am out of it today. And here is our first right on target, and it's a Leopold, Leopold, Leopold. Nice, a nice looking uh, base insert. There's Scotty Gomez, and this would be our jersey right there. Uh, continuing on, we have a Marty Brodeur, very cool. Salius, Jeremy Roenick, and behind the Scott Gomez is our first hit, guys. Our first hit, and of course it'd be a goaltender, because why not? And it would be Johan Hedberg. Nice, nice, very, very cool. And let's see the numbering, and the numbering is to 1004. Uh, the numbering is gonna be very rando, I believe. This one feels thick, is that possible? Or maybe they're all thick, maybe I'm just losing my mind. Actually, this one seems thicker than that one, I don't know. Uh, there are some rare patches, so that's all we'd be looking for. So we have Erratic Bonk, we have a Mike Fisher, we have this, which is just a thingy thing. And here's our first rookie, guys. Look at this, really, really nice. And it's one of the reds, which are more common because they're not, they're numbered to 299, so it's a chist off. Just off rookie card, number to 299, one of the reds, Pavel Bure. And here we go, guys. We hit the Scott Walker, and it's a nice 
little silver thingy. Pretty thick. Uh, number to 1307. All right, Yashin, Palfi, and Kovalev. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah. So we did hit a patch, which is really nice. Let's see who our patch is. Uh, Rod Brandemore, Coach Brandemore, Nylander, Brent Johnson. Our two completes would be DeVries and Allen. We have another one of the reds, actually, and we actually hit the Yashin red. Number to 299, Tom Pody. And our jersey patch, our patch would happen to be a Mike Comrie. And look at this patch, man. What a cool patch. That, it almost looks manufactured. How cool is that? I mean, I know it's not. Let's see, what does it say? Uh, Mike was spectacular in this sweater. His first full campaign with Edmonton. Nice. And it's numbered to 156 only. That's actually super duper low numbering for uh, these guys. Craig Rivet. Uh, Novel Setsev. Another one of these reds. And it's Bill Guerin. It's a Bill Guerin red, number two. Patrick Laleem. And our jersey is Rob Blake. That is a nice one. That's that's really cool. A nice purple patch here of Rob Blake. I like it. Very cool. And it's number to 1,020 only. All right, Castles and Marlowe. All right, only eight packs, guys. So we sort of jumped the gun on the patch. We should have just stayed on our column. It doesn't matter. Anson Carter, a Samuelson. Another red, and I'm assuming this is a red rookie, but no, it isn't. It's just Ryan Smith. And let's see who else we have here. Uh, we have Sakura, Turco, Marty St. Louis, yeah, a heater. And here is another one, guys, another one. And this one would be of Toby Peterson. Toby Peterson, number two, 1320. Let me see the patch. A really nice patch. All right. Jeff Sanderson, Tima Solani, Antropov, uh, Trinka. Oh, we have one of our inserts, guys. And it's one of the shadows. Just a shadow away. We have the Joe Sackick shadows. Hmm. Very cool. It says that Joe has seen the shadow behind the puck as it slides into the net. Uh, not the best creative writing. And here we go, another jersey. Behind the Ganyan, of course, it's a goalie with my goalie mojo. Uh, and this one is Oli the goalie. No, Oli the goalie. Nice, number to 1303. And Manny Fernandez, Fed Fedorov. I guess you can call him Fedorov. Uh, Fedorov. Uh, McGilney, Felix the Cat, uh, Kasha, Basha. And we hit it in Iggy, and this Iggy, I think, is one of those Saturday nights or whatever they call it. Yeah, we hit the Iggy Saturday nights. One of my favorite players, I like that. Okay, uh, what's the back sing? Back sing, sort of dated is what the back sing. Marion Gabrick, and another jersey here. Um, don't tell me it's another goalie, it's just getting ridiculous. Nope, yes, of course it's another goalie. How many goalies have I hit? Uh, is this focusing? Okay, uh, and it's Happy Bullen. It's a Happy Bullen one. Wow, I've definitely conjured up the goalie mojo. Last pack, guys. Last pack. Uh, Sean Van Allen, and we have a John Clem. Uh, cool, we hit another insert. Tell me, oh, oh nice, it's one of the right on targets. And we hit the Rick Nash. So this is a rookie insert of Rick Nash. Very cool. All right, and we have the Jose Theodore. Stevie Y, Marcus Nasland, uh, Richard Zednick. And we hit the Jeff Sanderson. Nice, very, very nice. With the Columbus Blue Jackets, number to 1307. All right, guys, time for the recap. So uh, here we go, guys. We did receive some 32 base cards. Really nice looking base cards. Very uh, Pacific, very titanium, very Panini-ish, uh, to be clear, prior to Panini. But uh, there's Ziggy Falfi, a Slovakian player, played, I think, over maybe about 700 games, had over a point a game in his career. He was a good player. 
1916 of the Pacific Complete cards, uh, base cards, and wow, what a cool shot of uh, Matt Sundin. That's a nice looking card there. Uh, and the horizontal backs, you gotta love it. So bang, here are our Pacific Complete cards. With regard to our red parallels, we were to receive approximately three of the vets and one of the rookies, exactly what we received. So there's Yashin, Garen, Ryan Smith, and Chistoff. It was a fifth overall in 2001 uh, before going off to the KHL. He was actually dynamite at the World Juniors, so he's sort of known for that amongst other things. With regard to our right on targets, we were to receive 1.6, we received two. So here you go, Jordan Leopold and Rick Nash. Uh, these would both be rookie inserts, actually. Uh, Nash was first of all in 2002, as we all know. Also received these two base inserts. There's Joe Sackix, this would be a Shadows, and this is the Saturday Nights, and it would be of Iggy. Nice looking cards. We're also to receive eight of the jersey cards, one per pack. Uh, let's go through the goalie mojo first. So there you go, we have the Hedberg, Oli the goalie, and Habby Bolin. So I'll just place these three down there. With regard to our non-goalie mojo, we actually hit a five, as we should, of the non-goalies. Uh, so there's Scott Walker, Toby Peterson, Jeff Sanderson, Rob Lake, and the Mike Comrie patch. Nice little patch action right there. Patch variation states on the side. Uh, so that was only numbered to 156, the rest are numbered to 1,000 or more. So that's basically it, guys. So that's basically it, guys. I will announce my next winner, I think, next week. So please be sure to sub, like, hashtag, draw, and app. Be full cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York. Mm -hmm.